Hey guys, welcome back. I'm out at uh, mom's house. Mom needs some shelving down in the garage. I told you we were going to do some shelving. I got my coffee. I brought all my tools over. Uh, I got a spot over here. I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, right now I'm cutting the pieces up. Uh, her section happens to be 12 foot long. We already measured it out. Uh, and two foot deep is what we're going to do the shelving so the totes fit right on it. Uh, I'm cutting the pieces right now. Uh, what I got to cut is all 21 inch pieces for the middle of the shelves that come front to back. And then the 12 foot sections for the sides. So I'll see when I when I put it together I'll show you. But that's all we need is uh, I bought six 12 foot pieces so I don't need to cut those at all. Uh, which are 2 by 4 by 12s and then I got some 2 by 4 by 8s that we're going to cut down to 21s and then we're going to cut two 20 inch ones because those are going to be our spacers for the shelves so that's exactly the height so I'll leave the dimensions in the link below um, but everybody's will vary I mean the two foot out is probably the way to go as far as shelving because the totes fit perfect on that and when you go to get boards because if you see these boards back here that's all plywood that I had cut down lengthwise in two foot sections so when you're at Home Depot, you buy the plywood, it's like 10 bucks a sheet. Cut it right down for you there, you don't even have to cut those. We'll still have to cut them because I gotta cut two four foot pieces out of that to make the 12 foot section. So, but we'll get to that, I'll leave it all in the link, but that's a nice handy thing because Home Depot will cut it for you. Um, some of them might actually cut these pieces for you if you're building the same thing. Uh, just tell them you need a bunch of 21 inch pieces cut and they'll cut them for you. So we got all the wood here, I'm gonna finish cutting this and then I'll show you how we put these together. Obviously, uh, if you don't have a miter saw, I happen to have a miter saw on a stand. Um, like I said, you can do this with a circular saw, you can do it with a jigsaw, you can do it with a sawzall. You just have to mark each board at 21 inches. Cut a piece off, mark another 21 inches, you, you get the point. So you can do it that way. But um, I'll finish cutting these up and then let's go make All some Alright guys, so this is the setup. Two 12 footers, 21 inches. We're going to do every 4 feet. We're going to do one at each end and then two in the middle at 4 feet and 8 feet. So how we want to do this is we're going to put the tape measure right at the end of our 12 footer and then we're going to measure down and mark 4 feet in the middle and then 8 feet. Layer down. 
all I did was I have these little uh, spacer pieces in here. They're 20 inches tall, so it puts this box right where I want it, okay, right at 20 inches. And then each one, I just reuse the spacers to get them all at 20 inches. And that ends up putting the top of the shelf at 24 inches, each one. So it makes it nice. And this cut, this piece right here, the end piece is cut to six foot. So it's mounted every on each shelf. And then the top shelf will be flush. So now what we're doing is we're just putting these boxes on here. And then we just screw them into the studs once we level it off. And uh, then we'll just keep going up to the next layer. And then what we do is we have an eight foot piece of plywood that sits on here. And then a four foot piece that we cut to go on here. So it's four foot by two foot and then eight foot by two foot. And we'll just put those on here and then we'll build this up. So right now I'm just uh, I'm going to screw in this box into the wall here and show you how, it, how this goes. So if you want to turn around, I'll show you this corner. I'm going to screw this corner in right here. Screw right in here. So in this case, I have all the studs here. I just screw right into the studs, and that holds my back corner. In. And you can see I have the brakes here. So we just once we're done, we pull the brakes out, put it on the next level. So let me just finish this up. I'm gonna keep screwing these into the studs. We'll get the plywood on here. I'll show you how we do that. So right in this corner, I got the level on here. So what we're gonna do is level this front to back. And then what I'm going to do is put two screws right in the front of this. And that holds all the weight of this front corner. So I'm going to pre-drill these. And I like to do them diagonal across from each other. Just like that. And we'll level this up. And then we'll just screw this in. There you go. So that's level, now we'll level across this way. And I'll screw in the other corner over there. All right guys, so over here, you might run into a situation like this where the stud is too far out. So what I did is I just took some scrap pieces I had left, like 12 inch pieces, and I just screwed it into this stud so it gives me a little more room to screw into. Because that way I can take one of these screws, or two of them, whatever I need to do. And I'll just screw it right into here. And then I got my level right here so I can level this across. And there you go. Then you're all mounted right in there because that's going to hold all the weight. Check the level here. It's good to go. All right, let's get some plywood. All right, so I put the plywood down on here. Unfortunately, you do have an outlet right here. Uh, I already took the cover off of it, which would be sitting right here. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to notch this chunk out right here. So I just measured out uh, the width of this plate to cut a notch out here um, and then we'll just cut a little half inch notch out right here of the plywood before we put it in and that'll make enough room to put this plate back in. Alright guys so we're going to get this last one up here. We're going on the third level. I got my dad here with me helping me as we're getting higher up here. How you do it, and you got these spacers right here to hold it right in place till you get it screwed up. So, we're just gonna screw it up like we did the other ones and uh, put the plywood on here, and we'll be done. All right, guys, so I got these all leveled out. I'm gonna put the last piece in the middle here uh, just because it's being 12 foot span, you gotta have a little support in the middle here. Uh, if it was a little longer, I'd probably do two. If we were at 14, I'd probably do two, but I'm, I can get away with one here. So what I'm going to do is just like I did that end piece, I'm just going to slap a couple more of these screws in here. I already leveled it off. So we'll just slap a couple of these on each one of these levels. And then we'll be good to go. I'm going to go get my mom. She can hold this stuff up. So that's it.
pretty easy. Uh, I think it's about $100 worth of stuff right here. Uh, like I said, you can probably have most of it cut. I mean, these are six footers, uh, assuming you're going to do a two foot shelf just like here, uh, which is pretty standard. I mean, these fifth totes really nice. Um, so if you want to do that, like I said, have the pieces cut in half lengthwise. Uh, if you want, if you, you're going to do 12 feet, you'll need to cut two four footers, three four footers for the total of shelves here. So if you want to do that, uh, if you like this video, subscribe and uh, click on the notifications, like the video. Uh, I'll link some of the stuff in the description, these screws from Home Depot if you want them. Uh, I'll, I'll put those in the description so you know what they are. Um, but all the wood is just 2x4s and the, you know the, this is the uh, plywood from the roofing plywood, OSB. So that's it. Uh, like I said, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.